Mike Tyson says he could easily knock out Jake Paul in a potential fight, but wouldn't as his family loves the YouTube star too much. Paul is undefeated in four professional fights, most recently outpointing former UFC star Tyron Woodley in August. Don't forget to watch today's video to the very end for Mike Tyson responding to Jake Paul, calling him out. The controversial 24-year-old is set to fight Tommy Fury, the half-brother of WBC heavyweight champion Tyson, with a location and venue close to being confirmed. Meanwhile, ring legend Tyson made his return to the ring last year in an exhibition fight against fellow veteran Roy Jones Jr. It was Tyson's first fight since, retiring from boxing in 2005 after his shock loss to journeyman Kevin McBride. And Tyson explained on the Full Send podcast why he could never knock out Paul. He said, My family loved Jake Paul. Mike is confident. Mike Tyson says he could easily knock out Jake Paul in a potential fight, but wouldn't as his family loves the YouTube star too much. Paul is undefeated in four professional fights, most recently outpointing former UFC star Tyron Woodley in August. The controversial 24-year-old is set to fight Tommy Fury, the half-brother of WBC heavyweight champion Tyson, with a location and venue close to being confirmed. Meanwhile, ring legend Tyson made his return to the ring last year in an exhibition fight against fellow veteran Roy Jones Jr. It was Tyson's first fight since retiring from boxing in 2005 after his shock loss to journeyman Kevin McBride. And Tyson explained on the Full Send podcast why he could never knock out Paul. But Tyson admitted he could easily knock out Paul, although he wouldn't want to. So freaking easy. Yeah, but I would never. I'd be against my own freaking family. They love this little white mother fricker. You know what I mean? He got balls. He's got freaking balls. When you see a white boy with balls, you know. I'm talking about for real, but freaky mother fricker. Yeah, but nah man. Let him have his freaking reign. Some historic background. Paul fought on the undercard of Tyson's exhibition with Jones, knocking out former NBA star Nate Robinson in his second fight as a professional. The internet star went on to defeat veteran MMA fighters in Ben Askren and Woodley, but Paul has since called out boxers, such as Fury in pound for pound number one Keneal Alvarez. Paul issued a bet to Fury earlier this month that he must change his name to Tommy Fumbles if he loses the fight. He said, This is my official response to Tyson Fury. He just said that if his little brother, Timmy Fury, loses to me, that he will make him quit boxing and he's gonna have to change his last name. He will no longer allow to be Fury. So you know me, I'm a betting man, I like to make bets. So I'm putting my money up right now. Tommy, if you beat me, I will give you an extra $500,000. However, if you lose, you have to change your last name for one year to Tommy Fumbles. Deal or no deal? I'm putting my money up. Sign, seal, deliver it. John Fury's fair warning. The Love Island star has since agreed to the $500,000, but has the pair edge closer to a fight in December. Fury's father John has vowed to smash his son, to bits if he loses to Paul, whilst his uncle Peter said Fury should take up dancing if he loses the fight. Jake Paul has earned the respect of Mike Tyson, who has talked up the YouTube sensation's deceptive boxing skills ahead of this weekend's fight. Paul, 24, takes on former UFC champion Tyron Woodley in a boxing bout in Cleveland. It's a major step up in opposition for Paul, but the outlook appears the same. Paul is 3-0 as a professional with all of his wins coming via stoppage and Tyson believes he is a real good striker, whose abilities are camouflaged by his looks. He, Jake Paul, is fighting an experienced fighter. That's so cool, Tyson said on his latest podcast. Paul's a real good striker, and I think people do him a disservice when they go in there and say, he's blonde-haired and blue-eyed, he's a white boy, and I think that also builds their opponents courage up and causes them to get knocked out, Tyson's prediction. Tyson predicted another KO win for Paul against the 39-year-old Woodley, who won the UFC's welterweight belt in 2016 and is making his first pure boxing appearance. Jake's gonna beat him. Woodley's not a puncher like that, that's why he wants to fight this guy. To get his last payday probably, Tyson said. Paul has also been talked up by noted American boxing trainer Teddy Atlas ahead of this fight. Paul's the bigger guy. He's strong, has that advantage, and he has the opportunity to throw, which is a decent right hand that he possesses," Atlas said on the fight with Teddy Atlas. He's got the opportunity to throw it and land it because of the style of Woodley and the mistakes of Woodley who stands straight up. He's predictable. He throws that slow jab. He throws it halfway out. He lets you get close. Paul's got a good right hand. He's going to land the right hand. 
so bad news is Paul is going to knock him out. Atlas also backed Tyson's theory that Willie was looking for a payday late in his career. Willie's been a great champion, but Willie's 39 years old. He's lost his last four fights, and he's lost his last two by KO and submission, Atlas said. I'll say it, and this is not to be disrespectful, but he's shot. He has the look of a shot fighter in MMA and UFC. Now a lot of people are going to say because he's a professional fighter and a former champion that he's going to beat Paul. But he's in a bad place mentally. He's in a bad place physically. He's not in his best place. Fancying his chances against McGregor While the YouTuber turned boxer fancies his chances against McGregor, boxing legend Tyson isn't buying it. Speaking on Hotbixen, Paul said, I called out Conor McGregor while the whole entire world was watching. He's fighting a guy, Dustin Poirier, who's 5'9", 155 pounds, who he TKO'd already in one round. He's fighting him again. Why? Iron Mike let out a wry smile and replied, You know Connor's not afraid of you, right? Paul then hit back with, I don't give a shit if he's afraid of me. You don't have to be afraid of someone to get your ass beat. Tyson continued to smirk and said, Sure. Paul continued, There's a $50 million offer, proof of funds, waiting in a bank account for him. McGregor is yet to officially respond to the 25-year-old, but he did allude to him as a confused little kid prior Saturday's fight with Poirier. You know, that is what it is. He told BT Sport, We'll see what happens. He seems like a confused little kid to me, to be honest. He's willing to get in there. I don't know what'll happen. It's not on the radar at the minute with the young lad. I have a teammate, Dylan Morin. Him and Dylan have been back and forth, so you never know. That response came not long after Paul called out McGregor again, this time using an airplane and a banner. In video posted on social media, Paul can be seen sitting on a beach in Miami, while a small airplane flies above him carrying a banner which reads, Conor McGregor is scared of Jake Paul. Now for those of you who feel that this fight is a bit random, it's honestly not. Former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson is expected to be the next in line to fight social media influencer Logan Paul. This is according to a recent report by social media outlet Drama Alert. The complete details are unknown at this time, but the report suggests Tyson vs. Paul will unfold in February of 2022. That gives us four months to prepare for what will be one of the biggest combat events of next year. Tyson, 55, returned to the world of boxing in November 2020 for an exhibition match with fellow legend Roy Jones Jr. Despite his time off, Iron Mike looked tremendous in his first action in 15 years. Tyson ended up fighting Jones Jr. to a draw, but he opened some eyes with his still ferocious punching. It will be interesting to see how the former champion fares against someone as young and spry as Paul, but Tyson will clearly have a technical advantage. Paul, 26, is coming off a massive PPV boxing match against pound-for-pound -pound legend Floyd Mayweather Jr. The social media star was obviously outclassed in the fight, but he went eight rounds with money and proved he's at least capable of going some rounds. Paul will have to punch harder and tuck his chin more against Tyson but he'll have another chance to knock off one of boxing's greatest names. With that, we come to the end of today's video. Don't forget to join in a next time for more of such interesting content.